G'day there mate, my name is Mr. Miguel Cuddy and welcome back once again to my channel. Today we will be turning to another shift in Hard Space Shipbreaker. So, last episode, I am pretty much showed you the progress I made on a ship I was doing before I lost the recording. Nothing new turn up except for that um, data log we got about a man who brought cows to Mars. And apparently, I think Dee Dee worked with that same man, her and her family. Nice. A bit of backlog there. Anyway, we're going to return to another shift. Let's get started. Now I just got to remember to myself to buy some more fuel. But actually, no, I think I can just. Sadly, I can't get any more um, upgrades, at least for one I'm trying to get anyway. And I'm going to have to be careful here because one of these panels has something on it that has to go into the furnace. Yep, this one here. And yes, this is my second attempt at recording. Towards there. Okay, I'm gonna have to push this outwards. Don't they drag me along with you? <sighs> I know that. But I should have had plenty before I had to go back for oxygen. At least that's what happened in my last recording. Well, last attempt, sorry. This up and then processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. There we go. One of the doors. Oh, that was here. on the fuel fat boy. Salvage deposit accepted. 
Nice. All right, let's get this on the barge. That's the airlock control, so I could leave that in there. There's going to be another table in here, which is going to be a real pain in the butt. Clear out the rest of this room before I have to focus on the flipping table. Sorry guys, I had an email pop up. Alrighty, back to it. Now I may have to cut out the window in the back here. If I want to get this table out. Warning. Oxygen reserves low. Mix recommends regular gentle exercise to increase blood oxygen levels. Shut up. say this certainly saves me some time from getting back and forth between ships. Glad I figured out this trick when I did. <laughs> okay, on to a more serious note. How am I gonna get this off about wrecking? The bin here. Hello, I didn't. <laughs> I kind of feel like an idiot.
probably don't have to cut it in too many places. Part of on the bottom here. There we go. We're looking at five minutes left in your shift cutter. Do what you do. We are out. Thanks, Weaver. Material accepted. Credits assigned. I was tossed out in the furnace there. Oh, yeah. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. This is going to be a real pain in the butt. Just line up. It's been a couple of minutes just getting this. Okay, this one's got a bit more heft to it. I'm just gonna have to work different angles just to get them out of the, these tight spaces.
I'm not going to spawn it out when I do. <sighs> well, I should have enough for the uh, fuel test and seat. Thanks. I feel like coffee. And I don't really drink coffee, truth be told. Alright, where's the... Now I wanted to frost that, didn't I? When I hit tier 8, I couldn't unlock more capacity. Oh, I'll go with this one now. All right, back to it. Oof, that shot me up too high. Alright, I see any more electronics. I need the fuel here. And I'm gonna have to block at a different angle so I don't hit the fuel tanks by mistake. Uh, I think we should release the clamp first. Two clamps, idiot. Can't get you out of your socket. Slow the drift down there. Uh, now, the question is how do we remove the rings from here?
So I won't be able to cut these because they're high grade level. I will bring it back. Uh, people, this is my eighth attempt here, but I made a lot more leeway for progress than what I was before. Don't tell me I left. God damn it, it looks like I left some doors in here. Yeah, so when I saw doors on the thing, I. <sighs> All right, but anyway, back to it. I'm gonna have to cut these support beams off here. Now to do that, I'm gonna have to position myself up really high here. Make sure I don't hit the flipping tank. They are so good. Last time I did skim the surface here, but it wasn't all that bad. Ooh, looks like I skimmed the surface again. Fine, that's fine. Ooh, yeah. Damages, so that's good. Alright, let's get this hunk of junk into the furnace. Oh, wait, I need to get this out of the way first. I'm just gonna have to be more careful next time. If you're going to have to start cutting the doors from the inside first while the air is pressurized. Especially with these big rigs here. this into the furnace. Material deposited. And this one as well. <sighs> I 
All right. Now to get this out of here. I'm gonna have to be really careful in cutting this. So basically the trick here is one of the ends, aim at the very top here, where it's near the pillar. Yeah, I know there were doors inside. Can't help that. The fuel tank gets in. Oh my goodness gracious. Get in there. Sheesh. This is going to be tricky. Alright, oh, I'm doing it down here, you idiot. That's everything cut. Let's try and pull it out. Don't tell me it's still. S no, no, it was rotating, so I should. Uh, I've got an idea. I'm going to require the tethers. about me. There it is, it's coming out. I thought it was. I'm just get this oxygen.
Uh, this is gonna be a lot of work. That's it. That's it. Had another tether to here by the works. Trying to cut this out first before I worry about the fuel tank. That's when you can have a good, right, good plan. Air back, guys. separating that so that's good the fuel's low. Uh, Valuable 
This last bit is really just going to be a pain in the butt. I think I might have to do something risky here. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Links would like to share the... I'm powering the... Well, I'm flattering through ability. Unmatched power. When the job site requires a tireless workforce, call on the Atlas roster belt. Four quasar thrusters and high output power stations give the robust rust about peerless strength. Reinforced tower tow towers and push pads provide maximum workability whether within construction, salvage, or demolition. The rust about lets you handle the hardest jobs with ease. Steve Let's see where this message is from. Cutter, I want to tell you, I'm mighty impressed by you. Remind me of me when I started. Oh, bright eyed, bushy tailed. Had big dreams of hitting the rails back then. Bought myself one of them classic armadillo rigs. Named the old girl Beulah after my mother. Told you about my bad revive a while back. Another case of me and technology not getting on, I guess. Bottom line is, this body just ain't fit for flying no more. So, I want to give Beulah to you, Cutter. She ain't in the best of shape, but she'll do good by you. Hell, even a few places around the village that'll fit her out for gate travel. If you're so inclined. Anyway, that's it. She'll do more for you than me now. I'm just happy she's going to be with somebody that truly appreciates her. We were out. Thanks, Weaver. Maybe when we do get out of here. Ah, just another one of these things. All right, so... I'm not going to go as long as all this because it's boring history. Sit out there. There it is, Lewis. Let's hit them salvage goals. Yeah, um, hey, Weaver, do you know when this administrator gets here? Should be here any day now. But remember, no need to worry. Ah, thanks. Kai, you good? Yeah. Yeah. Just nervous, you know. I just, I really can't lose this job. Whoa, slow down there. They always let go of the screw-ups first, right? We all screw up, Kai. Just work careful. Avoid any major accidents. You'll be golden. Yeah. I just need to keep my head down. Kid. It looks like they made it, so I want to be able to get it out of here easily. Cheeky fuckers. Alright, let's get cutting.
Gotta be careful. That was too close for comfort. Don't tell me it's still attached. That was a clean cut, should come off. Only one way to find out. Let's get a tether on there. It's just the thing wasn't powerful. here. One missed by and boom. Move this out of the way so it doesn't get hit by the cutter. one. Come on, fat boy, don't muck up. Got the flood fuel tank out there after a lot of screwing around. Raw material deposited. All right, let's get this off.
Ah, <sighs> finally. All right, got the fuel tank in there. Living light on. That's all I'm gonna say. Tank still didn't go in that good. Grunt. Oh yeah. Well, that's pretty much all of that thing, Chris. Look at that. That was stressful and a half. Good God. Yes, yeah, because I'm done. Thank Christ. <sighs> Let's have a look at this other ship to see. You know, I think I will actually do it in the next episode. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Please tell me I heard right, Rook. Weaver gave you his old armadillo? Oh, man! That's so lucky. I used to help my old man fix up beaters like that. I hear Weavers might not be in the best shape. Listen, I've got something that'll help get it ready to ride the rails. I'm transferring diagnostic program to your terminal. Go ahead and boot it up. Okay. Ship doctor. Hi, it looks like you're trying to operate on your ship. Would you like help with that? Getting data now. Amazing. Oh, old girl was used for construction at some point. Hmm. Whoa. Could maybe even be kitted out for salvage running one day. This program will identify what parts you need to fix her up. Don't pay too much attention to Shippy. That thing talks way too much. <laughs> you can probably find everything you need just kicking around while salvaging. Bits and pieces that Lynx doesn't care much about. Oh, you could also rip parts out of other ship components. And ruin the salvage value, of course. Maybe don't tell Weaver if you're gonna do that. Can't wait to see what you do with this beauty. Good luck, Brooke. Okay, so we actually got something new here. <laughs> wait a minute. Those small parts that were flying about in the... Maybe that's what those things are. Oh, <laughs> yes! Okay, so our wires and circuits. Okay then, okay. Wait, what's this message? Send a disclose. Ah. Member profile. We continue our series of profiling members of Salvage Workers Unite group in issue 16. This time we chatted with Lou Steiner from Carolyn Stage and Above Earth to talk about her motivations to the to fight for workers' rights. Okay, Lee, tell us about your first exposure to the issue of workers' rights growing up. I grew up amid the squalor of the Ares platforms around Mars, and the knowledge of whose back whose backs build our livelihoods there yeah, as well as on Mars itself were always permitted prominent topics in my community. I've always been surrounded by people doing good, honest work. And I've also seen them get mistreated for all for all their lives. People who do all the hard work in the service of human progress deserve better than just fancy words and scraps. What do you think of a workers' union? Why do you think a workers' union is so important? I believe that we deserve a seat at the table. I believe we deserve a hand in deciding how our everyday work is managed, our lives, our futures, our well-beings are heavily intertwined intertwined with the work we do. You know, 
it's dangerous to be a shipwrecker. We should be a voice in those crucial conversations. And I don't believe that others in power should speak for us. Our whole lives are decided and influenced by people who have never spent a day in our suits. It's time for us to realize that we are all we got, but we're also all we need. Lou's voice is one among us, but she speaks on behalf of every shipbreaker who believes in things could be better. Wow. Okay, then, people, that's going to be it for today's episode. Oh, look at that. Squeaky. <laughs> so, that's where the armadillo is. Alrighty, then. So, I have to look inside the ships to pick up those parts. And, yeah. Hopefully, I can get the old girl running. Anyway, that's going to have to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Show support for the channel. I very much appreciate that. And also, I may take a break from uploading Rogue Galaxy today to... Well, I may do one, but it depends on how I'm feeling. But I really feel like uploading a second video of Shipwreck today. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and drive safely out there, people. Bye-bye, take care, and have a damn good time.